Odds Do you know how to calculate odds? Well, we're here to show you just that in Part 4 of our Chalk Talk series on statistics. We'll start by explaining the concept of odds and look at the differences between risk and odds. At this stage, it would be very useful to have watched our previous Chalk Talk episode on risk and relative risk. Let's begin with an example. Imagine playing a dice game and you need to roll a 6 to win. The probability of winning is 1 out of 6 because there are 6 ways the dice can land. But you can also look at this from a different perspective. You could also say, there's only one number on the dice needed to win, a 6, and 5 numbers that'll make you lose. So the odds of rolling a 6 with the dice is 1 to 5. It's calculated by dividing the probability of an event occurring by the probability of the event not occurring. Generally, odds are a second means of showing how often an event occurs. However, it's important to make a clear distinction between these two parameters. In both cases, the occurrence of an event is related to different measurements. Probability refers to the total number of events, whereas odds relates to the number of alternative events. This can be seen in our example. The probability of winning is 1 out of 6, or 0.17, and the odds value is 1 to 5, or 0.2. Let's go back to our fictional study on lung cancer and take a look at the group of smokers. Of the 100 smokers, 20 developed lung cancer, whereas the remaining 80 smokers didn't. The risk of smokers developing lung cancer is calculated as the proportion of 20 smokers with lung cancer from the total number of 100 smokers, that is, 20 divided by 100, which is 0.2. The odds of smokers developing lung cancer is calculated by dividing 20 smokers with lung cancer by 80 smokers without lung cancer. So 20 divided by 80 is 0.25. Therefore, the difference between risk and odds lies only in the comparative value, that is, the denominator of the fraction. The difference between risk and odds can also be memorized using a pie chart. To calculate the risk, a slice of cake is divided by the entire cake. To calculate the odds value, a slice of cake is divided by the rest of the cake that remains on the cake platter. This is also reflected in the wording. The risk of smokers can be described as 20 out of 100. In contrast, the odds represent a chance of 20 to 80. The odds of developing the disease is calculated by dividing the number of exposed individuals with the disease by the number of exposed individuals without the disease. Now, if you compare the odds and risk values in our fictional study, you'll see that the results 0.2 and 0.25 are relatively close to one another. But that's not usually the case. Let's assume in our example that not 20 of the 100 smokers developed lung cancer, but 99. Now only one exposed individual didn't develop lung cancer. If you'd like, pause the episode to calculate the new odds and risk values of the smokers. So what values did you come up with? The risk of smokers developing lung cancer is 99 divided by 100, which is 0.99. In contrast, the odds value is calculated by dividing 99 by 1, which is 99. In this example, you can see that the risk and odds can also differ greatly. Therefore, an important aspect to keep in mind is that for rare diseases, the risk and odds values are quite similar. In contrast, the more common the disease in the group examined, the larger the difference between the odds and risk values. This example gives you an insight into the different range of values for the risk and odds. The risk is the number of individuals with the disease divided by the total number of individuals at risk of developing the disease. Since this is a proportion, the risk can't exceed the value 1. Therefore, the risk is always a value between 0 and 1. In contrast, the odds value is calculated by comparing individuals with the disease to individuals without the disease. So in this case, it isn't a proportion. If the number of individuals with the disease is higher than the number of individuals without the disease, the odds value can exceed 1. Now, you might be wondering whether both the risk and odds value can be expressed as a percentage. In our example, the risk of smokers developing lung cancer is 99%. 
The risk can be expressed as a percentage because it describes the number of patients with the disease from the total number of individuals in the study. In contrast, odds compares individuals with and without the disease. It's not a proportion, so it can't be expressed as a percentage. If we would express the odds value in the case shown here as a percentage, the answer would be 9,900%, which is incorrect. So the odds value is only expressed as 99. Now, we'd like to show you some additional information on risk and odds values that may come in handy. Risk and odds values can be mutually converted. The odds of developing a disease is identical to the risk divided by 1 minus the risk. In our example, this would be 0.2 divided by 1 minus 0.2. So 0.2 divided by 0.8 equals 0.25. As you can see, you'll get the same odds value previously calculated. Okay, let's briefly summarize what we've learned about odds in this episode. By using a pie chart, you can see that the risk of developing the disease is calculated as a proportion of the group examined. In contrast, the odds value is calculated by dividing the number of individuals with the disease by the number of individuals without the disease. The risk and odds values are very similar when it comes to rare diseases. The more common the disease and the group examined, the larger the difference between the odds and risk values.